Hello and welcome to National Focus for Wednesday, August 28, 2024. I am Julian Morris. In the headlines, the Dominica China Friendship Hospital receives donation from Gentle Rest Funeral Services, Olympic gold medalist Thea Lafont tours schools, and CIPCC Group visits Beijing International Radio, TV, and Film Exhibition. The details of the headline stories and more when we return. Ride safe, wear a helmet, safer roads in the nature aisle. This message was brought to you by the government of the Commonwealth of Dominica. Welcome back. The Dominica China Friendship Hospital and the Primary Healthcare Services have received the donation of essential supplies from the Gentle Rest Funeral Services on Wednesday. The handing over ceremony marked the beginning of a positive mutual relationship between the institutions and the donor. It is indeed a great privilege and honor to stand here at the Dominica Fri China Friendship Hospital to formally present on behalf of Gentiles the items um, to, which includes 12 microwaves, four kettles, one blender, four blood pressure monitors, and a baby scale, which will be distributed to the respective departments. It is our intent not only to add value in serving a need, but providing real and tangible, and tangible benefits in the respective communities they serve, and also in keeping with our civic duty. This not only demonstrates our, our commitment for the enhancement of the healthcare services, but also our, our collaboration between the health sector and gentle rest. Manager of Clinical Support Services at the Dominica China Friendship Hospital, Ms. Curlin Luke, represented the CEO of the Dominica China Friendship Hospital. She expressed gratitude to the Gentle Rest Funeral Services for their invaluable contribution to the Dominica Hospital's authority. The Dominica Hospital's authority would like to extend sincere gratitude to the Gentle Rest Funeral Services for the donation that has been made here today. Gentle Rest Funeral Services has been one of our key partners and we are grateful for the partnership and continued dedication to the improvement of healthcare services. We appreciate the initiative taken by your organization to donate these items in an effort to support our healthcare providers in the provision of quality healthcare. We assure you that these items indeed will benefit the staff and patients. District Medical Officer Dr. Ola represented the primary healthcare services at the ceremony. He thanked the donor for their generosity. On behalf of the Director of Primary Healthcare Service, we are pleased to accept the generous donation of microwaves, electric kettles, blood pressure apparatus, and a baby scale for our primary health care. This contribution will further enhance the quality of care that we provide to our communities. The microwave and electric kettles will greatly improve the comfort and the convenience for both client and staff, facilitating quick meal preparation and hydration this is especially important in creating a supportive environment for recovery and well-being. He says the medical supplies donated will make a meaningful difference in the lives of the people the institution serve. We extend our sincere gratitude to Gentle Rest Funeral Home for their commitment to improving healthcare access and quality care in our communities. Your support not only enrich our facilities, 
but also underscore the importance of community involvement in promoting healthcare and wellness. Dominica's first Olympic gold medalist, Thea Lafont Gadson, accompanied by her husband and coach, paid a courtesy call on Prime Minister the Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt on Tuesday. The visit forms part of a busy week for Thea since she landed at Douglas Charles Airport on Saturday, where a special reception awaited her. Dominicans had an opportunity to express their appreciation for her as they, she traveled in a motorcade from Portsmouth to the Windsor Park Sports Stadium on Sunday. At that ceremony, the Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt presented her with various awards and gifts, including land in Jimmit, $400,000, and a diplomatic passport. Thea will also receive the country's highest award, the Award of Honor, at this year's independence celebrations. This evening, an official cocktail reception will be held in her honor at the State House Conference Center. During her stay here, Thea has visited various primary schools as well as the Dominica State College to engage students and inspire the next generation of athletes and leaders. Let's go A very warm reception for Olympic gold medalist Thea lafont Gatson took place on Tuesday as she visited her alma mater, the Convent Preparatory School, as part of her tour of primary and secondary schools on the island. Upon entering the gates of the school, Thea and her party were greeted to the familiar ringing of the bell, or the school bell, with students lining the entrance, waving the Dominica flag. She was reminded of her early days at the school when she was known for her running. At break time, you see her running up and down the schoolyard, up and down the corridor. After her sprints, she would come to class, her shirt out of her skirt is untucked, and sweat beaming down her face. Right back then, say you were, you were in training. Back then, you were in training. And we are so proud now of your accomplishments. Although your time with us was brief, this was your last class. There we were. This one here in kindergarten. Yes. But you remembered us. And we are very grateful that you took time to be with us today. Thea, you work hard. And you persevered. And you reaped the harvest that many, many hoped for. Many, many only dreamed about and did not get a gold medal. We wish you God continued blessing in every area of your life. And may you continue to shine and be that ambassador for our country. Thank you very much, Thea. The Dominica Olympic Committee has been instrumental in Thea's achievement of the Olympic gold medal. Though she migrated to Dominica at an early age, she has been representing Dominica since she was 16 years old. Put it back for me. From French speak 11, where she has represented Dominica at every single competition that exists to represent Dominica under the auspices of the Dominica Athletics Association and the Dominica Olympic Committee. However, that would not have been possible without her early years, her formative years. As the principal, Mr. Shirley Lawrence, indicated that it started here at the convent prep, where she excelled not only in extracurricular activities, but also excelled academically. But keeping her Catholic faith on the pedestal. Because as her family said, that without the Catholic faith, all this would not be possible. So I would just like to introduce our multi-record holder from the 60 meter holders, the 100 meter holders, long jump, triple jump, high jump, pentathlon, multiple competition record holders as well. Also the women of many firsts our first world champion, our first Olympian finalist, and our first Olympic gold medalist, Ms. Thea Lafour Gatson. Thea told the captive audience a little about her early school history. I'm not sure if you know by this entire celebration, but yes, indeed, I went here. I, my parents were very, really, very really adamant about me becoming a young lady of great education, but of great faith. My day, at a very young age, my parents told me to never be afraid to pray on my goals, for my goals, and for my dreams. It was here at Convent Prep that these basic, basic habits were instilled in me. 
I remember being dropped off right there by my mom before she went off to Martin and standing at these steps and on this hill and saying morning prayers before I entered my classroom. And to this day, I wake up, I start my day with a prayer before I do anything else. The gold medalist thanked her alma mater for holding her to a very high standard in spite of her age at the time, not only academically, but in her actions. I was asked to present myself well. I was asked to represent my school and my faith well, both in these walls and outside. And I promise you, if any time I was slipping in the school or outside the school and someone from convent prep found me slipping, I was quickly reprimanded. Today I stand before you an Olympic champion, but I also stand before you an alumni of this beautiful program. I'm very grateful for everything that this school and the members of this school have done for me. And it fills my heart with joy to see beautiful young people following in the same steps that I once did. I would like to point out that when I received this medal on the podium, with the flag going up and our national anthem playing, that I teared up, but I actually, in fact, did not cry. <laughs> Let it be known that the first time I cried hearing the national anthem was by it being sung today <laughs> on these steps. She says she has come to realize that the gold medal is not just for her or her country, but for the generations to come. And seeing this lovely young lady sing her national anthem with such pride and confidence brought me to tears because not only did I see myself, I saw the beautiful future that Dominica is creating. And so I thank you very much for having me here today, along with my husband and coach, along with my family, along with the people that came before me at this institution, and for the beautiful youth that will come after me. And I just say thank you for everything from the bottom of my heart. Never be afraid to chase your dreams. Never be afraid to pray those big... Meantime, Thea Lafont continued her tour of schools on the island with a visit to Maho Primary School today. School principal Lola Stedman said Thea was a beacon of hope and a role model for the students. Ms. Lafont, your achievement on this world stage have filled our hearts with pride and inspired not only the young minds here at the Maho Primary School, but also every single person in the community. You have shown us the true meaning of dedication, perseverance, and excellence. And when I think of Thea, from just having a dream to having the world at her stage, I see heaven in that wild flower. It suggests the idea of finding beauty and wonder in the smallest and simplest things. It encourages us to look closely at the world around us and see extraordinary in even what appears to be ordinary at the first look. To be clear, there is nothing ordinary about Thea Lafont Gatson. The parliamentary representative says Thea, the legend, is encouraging the people of Maho constituency to dream big. You have given us, as people of this community, a reason to dream a reason to believe, a reason to be inspired, a reason to win. And while we can't afford to give you the world, even though you deserve it, as a community, we offer you our love. We offer you our prayers. We offer you our most sincere support. We offer you a profound sense of pride. Thea says her formative years were spent in Maho. I would like to thank you, first and foremost, for being the foundation of my family. Thank you for being a place where I, my mother's side, for sure, became a pillar, where they were able to give back, but when you also showed them so much love, you showed me, in very simple ways, what it means to take care of each other, and how important that is. Now, we did not come from a substantial amount of money. My grandmother and grandfather's home in Picante is very humble. I watched the two small rooms constantly have people coming in, 
Maybe they just needed a place to lay their head. Maybe they were just in between housing at the minute and just needed a, sh a shelter to call home temporarily. And I watched as that simple, humble home housed many in the community and how people came back with only two cents in their pockets sometimes to give back in the ways to say thank you. I learned that it is not money that makes a person. It is not money that builds character. It is simple, simple, simple characteristics, traits, love, and support. And Maho was abundant in it. Local media practitioners on training in Beijing are being exposed to cutting-edge technology used in media and communication. Alia Martin reports from a radio, TV and film exhibition in Beijing. On Friday, as part of the China International Press Communication Center program, our team had the opportunity to visit the Beijing International Radio, TV and Film exhibition. This event showcased a remarkable array of cutting-edge technology and equipment, some of which were entirely new to us. We had the chance to experience these innovations firsthand and engage with industry experts, asking questions about their applications. One of the highlights of the exhibition was the focus on motion control equipment and the use of artificial intelligence AI in media production. We learned about Jika Film Equipment, a pioneering company in the Chinese film industry known for its exceptional brand reputation. Specializing in research, development, production, sales, and specialized services for film equipment, Jika has made significant strides with its motion control series. Developed with an oriental aesthetic logic, this series has filled a void in the domestic market and has gained immense popularity. Chica is a motion control manufacturer. We are an established company from 2015, so up now is already eight years. Now, you know, we are making, you know, for the motion control products, you can see that, you know, we are using the camera, camera robotics. So doing, uh, uh, we are producing a, a, about the motion control products, you know, for the, not only for the China, but also for the worldwide market. We are very focusing on China first. Uh, like I said, you know, we are already eight years in, in this market. I think, uh, you know, over the, for the past six years, we are already very successful in here. We are definitely in the market leader. In terms of the business, in terms of the sale right now in China, we sold more than 250 pieces. And this year, uh, 2023, uh, 2024, it's our first year, you know, we go abroad. So we are already attend to the number of exhibitions in the market. For example, on, in April, we have been attending, you know, for in, in Las Vegas, the NEB show. We are also attending, you know, for the Cinec uh in America as well on June. So basically, you know, this is our first year, you know, we are go abroad. We do have a software to making the motion control operation. We are also offering the hardware to, to operate for the, for the motion control. So we, I think that the one of the best advantages for us because we have the offering to a multiple uh, operating system. The user-friendly operating system lowers the entry barrier to motion control usage, making it more accessible for filmmakers. Currently, Jika holds a market share exceeding 80% in the professional field, placing them among the top-tier companies globally and earning numerous accolades. In addition to Jika, we also visited the Radio Film and Television Design Research Institute of the Chinese Broadcasting Television Bureau. This institute specializes in high-end television and radio recording microphones. Just over a month ago, they launched their latest innovation, the High Order Ambisonic Microphone, which promises to enhance audio recording quality significantly. This is a radio, film, and the television design research institute. Uh, we are belonging to the Chinese Broadcasting Television Bureau. Uh, and we also do the microphone, uh, professional high-end uh, conference microphone, and uh, television, radio microphone, and recording microphone. And we also do the XR virtual production, film production. Uh, and we uh, just... Uh, uh, one month ago, we just uh, uh, figured out uh, the HOA, the high-order ambisonic microphone. 
The exhibition highlighted China's leadership in technological advancements, particularly in the areas of media and journalism. The integration of AI into journalism and media systems is a topic that is gaining traction in the Caribbean as well, especially following discussions at the Media Institute of the Caribbean Summit earlier this year. Titled AI, Media and Journalism Navigating Today, the summit underscored the transformative potential of AI in the media landscape. This visit to the Beijing International Radio, TV and Film Exhibition not only showcased the forefront of technology, but also provided valuable insights into the evolution of the media environment. That was GIS reporter Aliyah Martin reporting from the People's Republic of China. You are watching National Focus. More when we return. Welcome back. As Dominica continues to improve its disaster preparedness for the 2024 hurricane season and beyond, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Social Services partnered with the World Food Program to host a two-day workshop on August 22 and 23 titled Effective Preparation for Impact and Needs Assessment for Hurricane Response. The Department of Social Services experience of Hurricane Maria in 2017 and most recently, the impact of the 2022 trough system in Felix Sufrier revealed that multiple assessments were carried out by a number of agencies covering a wide range of sectors. This included rapid assessments of immediate needs to long-term recovery and risk assessments. However, the number of assessments conducted by every agency utilized diverse methodologies, resulting in a lack of clarity in the planning of recovery phase. As a result, it was noted that there is a growing need to harmonize and standardize comprehensive assessments in the post-disaster period. The workshop convened relevant ministries and the subcommittee members to review the current National Emergency Planning Organization National Disaster Plan and roles and responsibilities as outlined in response mechanisms and frameworks focusing specifically on impact needs and assessments. The Ministry of Health, wellness and social services through the department of social services is committed to strengthen its mandate on response mechanism and framework to seek to clarify roles and responsibilities of its partners to coordinate data collection efforts by reviewing and refining assessment tools processes and workflows over the next two days we'll collectively seek to identify potential stop gaps opportunities for digitization, and key information and data needs that are critical to inform key decision makers on impacts and needs assessments. A series of expert-led sessions focusing on key aspects of impact and needs assessment were held. Participants had the opportunity to network with fellow professionals and share best practices, fostering a collaborative environment for advancing disaster preparedness. It is hoped that at the end of this activity, Participants will be equipped with practical guidance for effectively conducting impact and vulnerability assessments to inform an effective and equitable response and recovery plan for hurricane emergencies. Your presence and participation are integral to this endeavor. Your expertise and insights will be instrumental in pinpointing potential challenges and collaboratively crafting solutions that guarantee a smoother and swifter response in the aftermath of a hurricane. This essential emergency preparedness activity was supported by the Government of Canada, European Union and USAID Bureau for Humanitarian Assistance. Freshers Week continued at the Dominica State College today with the Fresher Seminars. 
Students were engaged in informative sessions covering essential topics such as mental health and majors. An online Students Affairs Campus Resource Fair also took place. Departmental orientation is carded for Thursday, as well as academic advising and a sports meet. Finally, on Friday, students will unwind and relax with, uh, mo with movies on the green. Parent and family orientation took place on Monday. The Dominica State College Freshers Week 2024, which began on Monday, runs until August 30. Last Sunday saw the best of regional basketball as the inaugural Creole Basketball Championships concluded with a spectacular finale at the Masak Indoor Sports Complex in Dominica. The championship match saw the Wadadli elite stringers from Antigua emerge victorious, defeating Dominica's Detroit Blazers with a decisive 88-61 victory to claim the championship title. In the third place game, uh, GGB from Guadeloupe overpowered the, Daru, the Dr. Daru PSC Falcons 1 with a score of 88 to 80. Tishon Lewis of Antigua received the award for most valuable player and top scorer. Byron Andrew from Antigua won player of the, of the match. The Creole Basketball Championship set a new benchmark for regional basketball tournaments, showcasing the potential for sports to unite and uplift communities across the Caribbean. A team, or rather teams from Guadeloupe, St. Lucia, Antigua and Host Dominica participated in the basketball tournament. Coming up next, the Creole News Highlights with Jenno Jacob. The Yala for Gatson met the Dominic Asu Map Olympic in France and the Sala after he gained a medal law. He launched in Dominic. The Yala is a family in Dominic at present, because he is a leg in the school. He is a convent prepare, in the school he attended. Also, he is in the school of Maro Jordi, village Yala is fed. Papa The Yala for Dr. Dorian Lafont dit nous quand le moment la The Yala gained a medal law. Le bon way fie gained. Tout ça, mon sa di, famille mon sa di, c'est merci bon Dieu. Après ça, nous te ka heli, saute, tout ce monde là qui était à même section là avec nous, il a commencé, là où il y a ka saute, avec ses ses filles, commencé à heli, ça c'est 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 moi, ça c'est 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 moi. Tout ce monde là commencé à applaudir, c'est moi qui t'ai cassé pour nous. Et comment c'est. Embrassez-nous avec des congratulations. Après ça, nous sommes sortis, nous t'ai cassé, il y avait. Couidison, bon, délégation, officiel délégation Dominique pour embrasser Pia. Papa Théa dit il n'y a vie pour pas moi, les enfants Dominique. Premier. C'est pour réaliser si la vie des enfants là. C'est de, um, désir, um, désir, désir. Um, C'est ça les enfants là. Ou un des enfants. Parler bas les enfants, encourager les enfants. Tu es là pour garder, visiter l'école Maro aujourd'hui. Officier gouvernement là. Par le rep Maro, on a le Kassan et la ville, congratulé Théa. Autant les enfants et puis parents étaient là aussi. On a le Ribbon Blackmon, par le rep Maro, en vent, par le côté Théa. Théa, fait à la place, les mains levées à Maro. Mon sav, maman est bien bon. Mon sav, grand maman, grand papa, mon oncle, mon oncle. C'est son petit village. Amao, notre place Amao, quoi qu'il y ait Picati. Eh bien, manœuvre là, nous levons. Tout le monde est ensemble. Guama Matia, c'est un monde qui était. Un bon monde. Un monde qui était né la foi en Dieu. Qui était né la foi en enfants. Qui levait les enfants et bien bon. Tous les enfants. C'est un monde qui est la foi en Dieu aussi. Et bien, maman, tu as comme ça, tu as lui, assis, les mapines, tes mapines, nous assis, mapines, tu as qui est ici, c'est un instant, tu as fait. 
Il est bien content de manière que Jean Maho a supporté FEA. Je suis bien content. Je Jean Maho a supporté pour FEA. Où est le mot de quête là Je dis aussi que je suis aussi en place exceptionnelle. C'est plus bon place là à Dombé. Un monde qui a un bon sport, une éducation, un monde à pêcher, tout le bagaille, pour ça venir à, à, à Mao pour taper. Mais mon monde est aussi à complémenter en Olympique, en métier, pour les docteurs. Mais aussi, mon monde est à complémenter le gouvernement là, le premier ministre là. Je suis là. Le gouvernement met le coin devant pour bâtir le support, pour, pour encourager les jeunes gens pour faire continuer, et pour encourager les parents pour faire cette vie là pour les enfants. Dominique a continué la préparation pour la saison des as de sala et puis pour d'autres années. Ministre Santé et puis programme Manger la Terre, je viens un workshop pour deux jours, ou de 22 pour 23 à août. Workshop là, gardé préparation, assessement et puis réponse en temps des as. Ça, c'est tout à ce nouvel en créole. Non, M. Geno Jacob, changez qui nous entend cyclone, continuez à faire préparation. Au revoir. Thank you, Geno. And now for today's weather advisory. A tropical wave is expected to generate mostly cloudy skies with scattered showers which could be moderate at times and possible isolated thunderstorms during the next 12 to 18 hours. People in areas prone to flooding, landslides and falling rocks are advised to be on the alert and to exercise caution. The National Hurricane Center is currently monitoring an area of interest in the central tropical Atlantic with a low chance of development within the next seven days. Interest in Dominica advised to monitor the progress of the area of interest as we continue to provide the necessary updates. A slight reduction in dust haze concentration can be expected today. However, people with respiratory sensitivities are advised to continue taking the necessary precautions to avoid complications. Slight to moderate seas can be expected in open water, with waves expected to peak near 5 feet. As we are in the midst of the 2024 hurricane season, individuals are advised to take precautions to protect themselves and their families. For today's hurricane tip, be aware that the calm eye of the storm is deceptive. The storm is not over. The worst part of the storm will happen once the eye passes over and the winds begin to blow from the opposite direction. Trees, shrubs, buildings and other objects damaged by the first winds can be broken or destroyed by the second winds. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. Be sure to follow GIS Dominique on Facebook, YouTube and on Twitter. You can also drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm. From all of us here on the GIS News Production team, I am Julian Morris. Thanks for watching.